Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. Apple has just released iOS 17.3 and of course with every new release there will be new features and also new settings that you need to change on your device. So we have a few new settings from iOS 17.3 and some other really important settings that I believe every iPhone user must change on their device. Now, first of all, we're talking about the new collaboration feature on the playlists on the music app. Well, if you have created a playlist and you're collaborating with people, once you tap on the collaboration icon in that playlist, you will see this screen right here. Now, what you can do from here is of course stop the collaboration, but also you will have the share option. Now, the share option will basically allow you to choose which people will be able to add to that playlist. And this is what I suggest you do, because if you have this turned off, then anyone can actually add to that playlist anyone with a link or with the QR code. But once you have this enabled, then it means that they will be able to add, but only the people that you actually approve. Now, of course, one of the main new features of iOS 17.3 is the stolen device protection. This is an extra layer of security on your iPhone. It is really, really great. And of course, a huge step on iPhone security from Apple. So basically when someone might steal your iPhone and they know your passcode, they will be able to change a lot of stuff on your iPhone, even sign out or just log in into your Apple ID. But now with this enabled, you will be able to actually protect your device because it will also require a face ID and also it has like a time frame to which once it's out of like familiar locations, it won't allow changes to happen. So make sure you have stolen device protection turned on on your iOS 17.3 device. Now another setting that you cannot actually change, but you need to take action is the carrier update. A lot of carriers will add updates once iOS 17.3 is installed on your device. Here's what you need to do. Head on to your settings, go under general here, and then just go under about. Just wait there for a couple of seconds. If there is a carrier update, it will pop up and all you have to do is just tap on update and you're good to go. Next up, we're moving under general and under the AirPlay settings. So here we have AirPlay and handoff. Now right here, we have automatically AirPlay. Now this is an all setting, but the things have changed with iOS 17.3 because Apple has added support to AirPlay to TVs in hotels. Now what you need to do here is go ahead and just choose to ask or never, which means that your iPhone won't be able to automatically AirPlay to a TV if you don't want to do that. So it should be on automatic by default. So make sure you choose ask or choose never. There are new settings for the journal app as well. So you go under journal and you will have here journaling suggestions. Now, once you go here, you will have privacy settings and notification settings. You can go to either of them and you have here a ton of settings. I'm not saying you should turn off all of these, but at least go here and just choose which settings you want to use, which you want to turn off and which not. So you will have a bunch of settings here for suggestions. And then also you will have a ton of like different notification settings. So you go there, you can allow the notifications. And then of course, from here, you can just customize your notification settings for the journal app. Moving on to some other really important settings that you should change once you have updated your device to iOS 17.3 if you haven't done them already. Head on to gen general here and what you will have here is something called AirPlay and handoff and then you will have AirPlay receiver. So basically, this will allow to stream or share content from Apple Vision Pro to your iPhone. So it turns your iPhone into a receiver for Apple Vision Pro. They're not out yet. Probably most iPhone users won't get their hands on an Apple Vision Pro. So make sure you have this turned off. Moving into iCloud here, and you will have something that has been added to iOS with 17.2. It is called messages in iCloud. Now, basically, this allows you to store all your messages on your iCloud. All you have to do is turn them on or right here. And then you can, of course, back them up. You can manage the storage here and choose when you want to actually keep the message for how long you want to keep the, your messages. And you will also have the button here, which allows you to manually sync your messages from your phone to your iCloud. Next up, we're moving under the news settings. Now with news, when you go to live activities here, you will have something that Apple has added recently to iOS. Basically, when you're following something like an event or something like that on the news app, it will show you your live activities and will more frequently update them 
on the screen on the lock screen of your iPhone. Well, that's a great feature to have if you're really interested in something, but it will also drain the battery out of your iPhone. So I would suggest if you're not planning to use this feature that you turn it off completely. Moving on under privacy and security, scroll all the way down here. And once you go here to analytics and improvements, you will have also a newer setting that Apple has added called improve AR location accuracy. Now, what I suggest you do, turn this off. It will consume CPU power as well as battery on your iPhone. So you probably don't need this feature. It will just send all information to Apple. So let them just improve that by themselves and turn it off. Now with the new devices, the iPhone 15 Pros, of course, Apple has added a new feature called a spatial video capture. So it allows to capture spatial videos on your iPhone, which you can use on the Apple Vision Pro. Well, when you go to formats right here, you will have that option and you can turn it off from here. As I said, when I talked about another setting, most people probably will never get their hands on the Apple Vision Pro, will never use them and you don't need to actually shoot videos which will take a ton of space and will be saved on your iPhone and even they just can be shot at 1080p. So if you have this enabled, you're getting lower quality videos and even taking a lot of space on your iPhone. And for the last five settings, we have some settings that I always suggest that people change or just take a look at them, check them on their device once they have updated their device to a new software. First of all is the battery settings here. Go under the battery settings, make sure you go to battery health and charging. And what I suggest you do is that you always keep optimized battery charging turned on on your device. If you have an iPhone 15, you can even set the 80% limit, which is even better. But if you don't have it, make sure that you have optimized battery charging always enabled on your iPhone. And now it's probably a really good time to take a look at the settings for your notifications. Now notifications will be one of the biggest battery drainers on your iPhone. What I suggest you do is go here, take a look at all the apps that are sending you notifications. As you can see right here, I have most of them actually turned off completely because I just don't need to have notifications from those apps. They will just drain the battery out of my iPhone. So you can do the same. Go ahead, turn them off completely. Or if you don't want to do that, at least put most of the app on the scheduled summary. Next up, we're moving again to the iCloud settings. So at the top of your settings app, go into your Apple ID, then go to iCloud and you will have something here called access iCloud data on the web, which means that all the data that you have stored on your iCloud can be accessed from the website, from iCloud.com. So anytime you need that, you can just log in into your computer with your Apple ID and you will have access to every data that you have saved on your iCloud account. Next up, we're moving under sounds and haptics. Now under sounds and haptics, you will have this section here. It has been changed recently and you have more options here, but you will have the options for the haptics that are on your iPhone. Always play, that's probably the worst setting you can use because it will play haptics all the time with notifications and everything else, even though your device might be in ring mode. You know that the haptic engine on your iPhone will consume a ton of battery. Now I choose never play because I don't like to have haptics on my iPhone, but you can just choose to play in silent mode, which in my opinion is the best option. You still get the vibration only when you need it because your device is on silent mode. And last but not least, we're talking about Siri. Head on under accessibility, scroll all the way down here to Siri. And what you will have here is an option that I always suggest that iPhone users turn off. It is called always listen for the hey word. And this basically will just make your iPhone listen for the hey word all the time. It doesn't matter whether your iPhone is in your pocket, is it laying face down on the table or anywhere. It will always be ready for that word, which means that it is working all the time in the background. And of course, just draining the battery out of your iPhone. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are 15 settings, some new, some less new, and some older ones that I suggest every iPhone user must change once they, once they have updated their device to the new iOS 17.3. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, of course, if you did. Subscribe for more iOS 17.3 videos, and I'll see you on the next one.